Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial by Editorial for you. Um, so today it's like I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a header in pixlr.com slash editor. Um, I got requested. Okay, so go to this website, pixlr.com slash editor. It's exactly, almost exactly like Photoshop. So, kind of makes like you don't have to download this at all. It's in a website, so you don't have to worry about downloading and everything. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to make Twitter header. I'm going to show you mine. Okay, so this is my result of like a very simple Twitter header. Uh, I don't really want to go to anything advanced Twitter header because uh, I don't think it's like necessary. This is like really simple. It looks pretty nice already. Um, so it's very simple. All you have to do is... Oh, and you have to download this picture. Like I'm going to leave you the link to get this picture um it's in the description okay so first of all you gotta open that image that you're gonna get from the description after that you're gonna have to unlock the layer double click it and it's gonna unlock the layer and you gotta use this magic wand tool and like select the white background and press delete it's not your keyboard um then after that you gotta open two pictures from similar places like um well similar places okay Okay, so I'm gonna use these two pictures of Demi. Um, so in Pixlr, it's kind of different. I also need to learn some stuff trying to make this header. Uh, so let's say you wanna drag this photo to your Tumblr thing, um, to the icon frame thing. Um, you can't. You need to do this: edit, select all. Then again, okay, you gotta have to wait for it, like to select then you press edit and you copy it or cut you can choose and you gotta wait and go here and paste it same with this one so um edit select all and you copy it wait um okay you need to do this because I think that's the way you do it in Pixlr. Because I tried dragging it so many times and just didn't go to the picture. Then you gotta resize it. Okay, this is another thing. Edit. Free transform. And while you're like resizing, press. Well, while resizing, press shift. So it'll be like even. So it won't go out of control like when you <laughs> fix it or whatever. Um. Whoa, this picture is really big. I think that's the result of really, really big pictures. Uh, like, they're usually HQ. Big pictures are usually HQ. And you don't really need HQ pictures for this. Like, a normal one will be fine. Let me, let me fix this first. It's way too big. Okay, after you resize it, I actually don't know what, how to, like, unresize. So I just press anything like file, then it's going to choose. Do you want to apply changes? Yes. Uh, and you can't see this because it's at the back layer, so again, edit, free transform, and um, press shift while resizing it. So let me pause first. Okay, then usually, like, you pick which top, which layer is best to be on top. So if you think this will be best on top, then go ahead. But I think this will be best on top, so I can erase these. Um, so after that, you're going to use this. Okay, pick on the layer and the top layer and erase some parts so it'll look like they're blending. That's why I told you to pick the correct layer and erase until you think like it's good enough and everything, you know. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to erase this and... Um, something like that, you know, it's like really simple. It doesn't really need to be perfect, but okay, you're done. Um, after that, you put this icon frame thing and put it on top. I don't know if you can really lock the layer. And then I would just merge these two layers, um, merge down, and then I would just resize them until like I think they look nice like this or whatever free transform and um 
make it bigger, something like that, okay? Uh, you can choose if you want to, like, resize it or whatever. Um, then, I think you can, I don't know if you really can add effects. I'm really not good, okay, here. Uh, huge saturation, I really don't know how to use text so much. I'm only, like, teaching you how, because it's like Photoshop, so I didn't figure it would be that complicated. Oh, and you wanted to make it like that, you know? Sometimes I like effects like that, because I think it's kind of cute. Like, it's covered with white stuff and everything. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, Just random stuff, you know? Like, go to adjustments, and you can pick anything you want. So, um, I like effects like this on pictures. I don't know why, just to... Um, levels, maybe? I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. Um, well, you can choose what you want to do, actually. Like, this is your header, so it's not really that com That's supposed to be that perfect. Um, you can make it for other people, too. Oh my god, no. <laughs> um, you, don't, you want to desaturate it, it's also possible, you know? Like, this is yours, like, whatever. Okay, no. So after that, you can add your watermark. Um, where's that text? Okay, here. Add the watermark, so it'll be like people won't steal your work. So um, type. I'm gonna type my Twitter username. Okay. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. Bars. Okay. Let me stop first. Wait, 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 wait. How do I quit this? Okay, whatever. Okay, something's wrong here. Okay. So just start here. Add our swizzle. Swizzle. Um then you can pick what font you like. Let me just put um it's my favorite font. I don't really have a favorite font. Just you know, okay, this looks good enough. Um, then you can change the color, whatever you want to do, um, yeah, you can change the color if you want, and you press OK, OK, then you can move it using this tool, I don't know why I don't like using Pixlr, because my computer is, like, suddenly so slow here, um, okay, then you put your Twitter username, and you can lower the opacity, I just don't know how to lower the opacity, I haven't, oh, here, okay. Like press this arrow, and you can choose different modes. It's like Photoshop, obviously. Um, you can also put it somewhere like on top or everywhere. I don't know why. I just like putting it there. Then you can just randomize and put um effects. Okay, let me just try and put mine. Okay, I give up. I'm too lazy to go like go through everything and like finding the right effect. Uh, you can go through adjustments and filter. And you can blur, sharpen, and everything. And you're done with your header. It's very simple. Then you just save, you know, save as and all that stuff. Um, I hope this helps. I got requested. And, um, yep, I think that's pretty much it. You know, like, uh, the next video I'm going to do is One Heart Watchers pack. I kind of already did a list, like, what video I'm going to do next. So I won't, like, I won't forget and mix it all up because I disappoint a lot of people. Um, yeah, I said I'll be busy this week, but I found time to record, so I'm just going to use that time to record because, well, I might not be able to use tomorrow or whatever. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, and I think I'm going to start using my intros when I feel like it. Too lazy. Okay, but thanks for watching. Bye.